Hello and welcome to my home tutorial. The topic covered today is testing a three-phase squirrel cage induction motor connected in the Delta configuration. So let's get started. Throughout this video, I'm assuming that you already know how a three-phase induction motor functions. Now before we look at a motor, I want to go over a bit of theory. So if we look at the terminals inside an induction motor connected in the Delta configuration, we see this configuration where we have six terminals each terminal has a link across two pairs of uh, terminations and then the windings will be like so and then from this one to that where we have U V and W. Now if we open this out into the delta configuration this would give us this where we have the triangular delta configuration and we have U, V and W there. Now we can actually draw this slightly different to give us a better understanding of what we're about to do next. Right, so if we look at the uh, configuration that we have on the right hand side, the delta configuration, we can draw this slightly different. So, if we put one terminal here, one terminal here, and one terminal here, we can then draw the third winding down here, so we have U, V and W here. So this shows us um, a different aspect of what we've got over here uh, and it makes it more simplified when we're looking at calculating the total resistance. So we can see from this diagram here that we have two resistors in series which are in parallel with another resistance. Now if we've got two resistors in series, to find the total resistance of those two uh, resistance values together we will just add them. So let's for instance say um, we have 6 ohms here, 6 ohms here and 6 ohms here. Now we can use the product over sum method in conjunction with the series resistance values here. So we have 6 ohms and 6 ohms here which is 12 ohms and then we have 12 ohms in parallel with another 6 ohms. So this would give us, using the product over sum, we get 6 times 12 divided by 6 plus 12. This equals 72 over 18. So therefore, the total resistance, RT, would equal 4 ohms. So if I put my meter, multimeter, across U and V, then I would read 4 ohms. If I put my meter across V and W, I would read 4 ohms. And if I put my meter across U and W, again, I would read 4 ohms. OK, so let's uh, now move on to the motor and uh, we'll have a look at the terminals inside the motor terminal box uh, and remove the terminal lid. Okay, so here I have a WEG IE3 premium efficiency motor. So I'm just going to remove the uh, terminal box cover and then we'll have a look at how it's configured inside the terminals. Okay, so I've removed the lid and we can now see that this is connected in the start configuration. So we have the start point which is here. So I'm now going to remove these links and put them into the delta configuration here. But before I do that, I'm just going to check the resistance of one of the windings. And then that, from that I'll be able to calculate what the total resistance is that I should be getting when I've got it connected in delta. Okay, so I've tested these windings. And these windings are approximately 6 ohms uh, as we used in our calculations. So, I'm going to put one lead here, 
under the uh, W and then if I touch the other probe here we should get a value around about 4 ohms and if we look at the uh, the meter yeah, we're getting about 4 ohms plus or minus the 10% or I'll give it a little bit for the um, the resistance of the terminations again put it onto this one and again we're getting uh, 3.8 which is round about the 4 ohms, 3.9 again giving a, a little bit for the uh, the resistance of the terminations so I'll now remove this uh, this lead and put it under the, the V and then we can try from there to there and again you can see that we're getting 3.9 4 ohms so I would say that that motor is balanced the manufacturer's tolerance on the windings is uh, plus or minus 10% uh, so that gives us a good winding balance test so that motor can be installed and uh, would be okay to run without any faults okay so uh, thank you for watching um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, tick the like button